Hey guys, today I wanted to do a video for you on the Sally Hansen Magnetic Nail Color. And it looks like this. I have it in the color 903 Silver Elements, which is just a pretty metallic, um, silvery gray color. More silver than gray. And this was sent to me as part of my Summer Influencer Vox Box program. And um, basically what you have is you have a product that has uh, a cap here with a magnet at the top and then this is just uh, a nail polish similar to any other nail polish. And so uh, what you end up with is something that looks like this. Just some product information that I need to give you before I really talk about um, the nail polish and my experience with it. The Sally Hansen Magnetic Nail Color is summer's hottest nail trend that allows you to create a gorgeous 3D nail effect, I'm sorry, 3D nail art effect in just seconds. This unique formula has been specifically developed with metallic particles. Just hold the built-in magnet over wet polish to reveal a unique design on the nail. Seal with the top coat for extra shine. Learn more at sallyhanson.com. And so all you do to use it is um, you shake it first and you do need to apply two coats. So the first coat you're gonna apply um, and let dry. Then step two is to hold the magnet for 10 seconds over a thick layer of the wet nail polish. And then instant attraction, let dry and seal with the top coat for extra shine. These are available at chain drug stores, food stores, and mass merchandisers nationally, and the suggested retail price is $9.99. Okay, so those instructions were a little bit garbly, so I'm just going to tell you how it actually works. <laughs> you do need to shake it up first, and um, you're going to apply first a single, just a regular old coat of nail polish. doesn't have to be particularly thick or thin, just the way you would apply any other uh, nail polish and you do need to let that dry completely and then the second time what you're going to do is you are going to apply just one nail at a time you're going to apply a thick layer of the polish then you are immediately going to take this little magnet that's at the top and if you can see here there's this little uh, kind of piece of plastic here so that piece of plastic fits right here you know right above where your cuticle is so just place it on the skin and hold the magnet you know kind of close to your nail but still with uh, space in between you don't want to touch the magnet to your nail because obviously you will then smudge your polish um, but I can tell you that the closer and more even and level that you hold it the more exaggerated the design will be um, so you just place it there and you hold it and you want to hold it for about 10 seconds because you need to not only let the polish um, kind of gather in the pattern, which happens actually very quickly, you can even see it happen, um, you know, when you first place the magnet there, but then you need to hold it there for about 10 seconds, just long enough to let the polish start to kind of dry, and um, that way it holds its place on the nail, because if you were just to place it there and then remove it right away, there is a chance that it could kind of blend itself, you know, back out and you would lose that pattern. So that's all you do. Hold it for about 10 seconds and just let it kind of um, start to solidify a little bit. And then move on to the next one with another thick layer of polish. And then place the magnet, hold it, leave a little space in between. Can you guys see the space? Yeah, like that. Uh, hold it and then move on to the next. What I really like about this, I mean, not only do you get like a really cool effect that you can do at home so you don't have to pay a bunch of money to go to a manicurist to have something neat put on your nails. Um, but I, it's essentially goof proof. Um, I did mess up a few times <laughs> um, and I am not particularly, uh, my fine motor skills are not great so I can be a bit clumsy when it comes to some you know manual dexterity uh, type of things. And so, you know, there was like one time with my thumb, the very first one, I held it for quite a while and then um, was really happy with it, but I did accidentally touch the magnet to the nail and I thought, oh great, I've already messed up already. Um, but all I did was I just went ahead because, you know, because I was pressing with a little bit of, with some certainty, <laughs> um, there was a little line so I could easily see where, where I had the plastic. And so all I did was I went back and I 
uh, did it again. I just added more polish and then made sure I put the um, the magnet exactly back in the same place and it it totally corrected itself. You can't even tell that I messed up. Then a couple nails here. Um, as I was doing you know a nail further down you can see here on my thumb that I just accidentally touched my thumb to it while it was still you know quite wet and those nails were far enough along that I really didn't want to um, completely start over particularly so I just took a little polish and just dotted it right on the tip and if you you know if somebody gets up on me and looks really close they're going to be able to tell but um, because it's it's the lighter color of silver rather than the dark shade that should be on the wave but it's fine nobody's going to be looking at my nails that closely anyway and that's what I like about it is there's enough kind of going on that you're really got to, not going to notice those little mistakes and I actually didn't even clean up the edges of my nails yet um, I have a lot of polish kind of around the cuticles because I just I'm not a careful nail polish applier and um, I think because the design really attracts your attention so much, you really can't even notice that I haven't cleaned up the edges very much. Like you can see um, here on this finger, there's some polish here on this this side, uh, which I really like because there's enough going on on the nail itself that essentially keeps your eyes focused on the pattern and you don't even visually notice <laughs> any of the mistakes. So I think this is really um, fun in that way that it's essentially goof proof. I mean, any mistakes that you make, it's going to be no big deal. Um, and if you're one of those people who doesn't have a whole lot of nail polish and you're thinking, okay, well that's great, but I don't know that I'll want to do that pattern all the time, that's okay, you don't have to do the pattern. Um, this, this polish by itself, just that nice light silver coating of metallic polish was very pretty as well. So. If you're having a time where you just don't feel like doing the pattern, then don't. Um, I also thought uh, that I can see myself very easily just doing like my thumbnail and then leaving all the rest of my nails plain um, just because that's, I've been doing that since I was a small child before fake nails existed, before accent nails existed. Um, I've just always kind of embellished particularly this thumb, even, even just one, not both. Um, so, you know, if you want to kind of do some fun things or make each nail different, that kind of thing, have at it. I mean, this is a great product to just kind of get yourself started with. Um, they also have a really good color selection too. I think the next color that I would love to have is uh, a blue shade. I believe it's an indigo blue shade. Um, I'm not positive on the color, but I know they've got a blue, they've got a purple, they've got a green, they've got a gold, they've you know if you can think of it they've got a pink they've got a purple um, kind of all the basic colors that anybody might want so I think it's a fun product and I think it does double duty really well as far as you can use it as just a plain polish but if you want something fun and some kind of a neat effect then that's what it's for and so if you're one of those people who just doesn't have polish you don't have a lot you are just getting started in a nail polish um, then this is a great way to start. Go pick up a couple different colors just to get kind of a handful of shades to start with and then just have some fun with it because you can wear it, like I said before, either way. So if you have any questions about um, the polish at all, then let me know. I know I've seen it at my CVS. I think they're pretty common. I think for the most part, most people who um, are semi-regular makeup shoppers have already seen these uh, in a lot of different locations so it should be pretty easy for most people to get their hands on but if you do have any questions then feel free to leave the question below in the comments and I will do my best to answer it and I will see you next time bye